and my name is Jerry Van Holte. I am 29 years of age. I run Keizo School of Sport here in Casuela. And just a wee bit about myself, I am a personal trainer. And my hobbies include karate, getting football, and just anything really fitness in general. Fitness is me. Um, I suppose my favorite word is uh, discipline. I suppose if you don't have um, if you don't have discipline, you don't have nothing. It would be a discipline. Um, least favorite word, loser. Um, I hate somebody being called a loser. Part of the famous saying, "Yeah, they're winning, you learn." Um, nobody's really a loser. So maybe you might get defeated, but you learn from it and you come back from it. Favorite quote? That's an easy one. Uh, we're not here to take apart; we're here to take over. Um, by the man himself. But yeah, it's a quality quote, and I think it'll go down in history. I think a lot of reviews now. Favorite takeaway? Um, Italian food. It's hard to beat Italian food. Anything Italian. I give a shout out to my mate uh, Conor McLearney. Tastes in New York, Castle Island, quality pizzas. I believe it's so, so important um, to live a healthy lifestyle. I think you have to have a very strong mindset. Um, strong, as to say, strong body, strong mind. Um, strong mind and the body will become strong. Uh, like I've been lucky enough probably to grow up in a strong family unit and we probably grew up with the old saying, uh, listen, just suck it up and get on with it. Now, listen, that's probably the way I've been reared. Um, so when I've been through tough times, that's always what's being used. But uh, not everybody's like that. And, and the way I look at probably mental health is it's a wee bit like uh, coaching an athlete. Um, different athletes need coach different ways. So there's some people that need um, motivation by shouting at them before they get started to try and get them to perform well. While other athletes maybe need the hand around the shoulder and just told the game plan, they can work perform well. So mental health is probably something similar. Everybody um, reacts differently to it. Like I said, me is just a, I just get on with it, but at the same time, some people just, just can't do that. So I think it's so, so important, especially nowadays, just to talk if you're not feeling, if you're not feeling great, there's always somebody there that you can talk to. Um, especially now with young men. Um, it's happened far, far too often. Young men taking their own lives and um, it's just so, so sad that they could not go and feel the need that they could talk to somebody. So, yeah, listen, it's, it's very, very important to have a strong, strong, healthy mind um, and to cope. Everybody has different coping, coping mechanisms um, to deal with uh, situations. But yeah, definitely tough because no matter who you are, everybody's going to go through a tough time. Um, I would, probably my wife Olivia, she could write a book on me. Um, when I come home, say something hasn't went well with the business, or something hasn't went well with a fight, or a, a football match, I come home and I rant, and <laughs> everything comes out to her. So um, just wee small things like that. I like I can convey the uh, Olivia and things, you know. So yeah, listen, just talk. Um, great saucer of brown sauce. Uh, definitely, I'm not a big fry person, but I would, if I had to take a fry and I would take a sauce with definitely red sauce. I'm probably so busy with work and karate and football and stuff that I actually probably don't realise that I am working on my mental health. And I think I do it through visualisation. I do a lot of visualisation stuff with um, my business and um, in regards where like. I like seeing where things are going to be in the future, so like planning to make it bigger. Um, even a smaller aspect of it, when I'm, when I'm planning a class, I will plan that class and try and think how these people are going to feel doing this class, are they going to enjoy it? Um, and when I'm competing, same sort of thing, when I'm in a fight, like I'm going to visualize how this fight's going to pl uh, plan out, like if I'm winning, what I'm going to be doing, and if I'm losing, how I'm going to cope, you know? So um, I would do a lot of that, and that's with karate and also the football. So yeah, visualisation is a big thing with, for me, um, and I think that helps. I also just love spending time with my family. You know, um, like I love coming home from the gym or from a karate fight or karate competition and a match, just coming home and just chilling. You know, and I think that's very, very important, just to 
know how to relax and have a bit of downtime, you know. And that's one thing this COVID-19 I think has taught a lot of people just to cherish the time that they have with their family, you know. Um, I'm loving spending more time with uh, Rena and Olivia, you know. So, yeah, I do, yeah, I think I'll work on it. Um, and I think everybody should uh, find some sort of way to work on their mental health. I say it's only struggling. It's it's normal. It's totally okay, you know. And everybody, no matter who you are, myself included, everybody is going to go through some point in their life where they're struggling. And just talk. Go and talk to somebody. Find somebody that you can talk to. And if you're watching this video and you need to talk to somebody, I always find I'm an easy person to talk to. If you need to come have a chat, I'm I'm here to have a chat with. Um, or just find somebody you trust that you can invite in, you know. Um, but yeah, there's, no matter how bad things are. There's always going to be somebody there to listen to you. So um, head up, stay strong, and 